Black Forest Labs, the company behind your favorite Flux AI image creation models, is at it again. They've created something called Context. And what this does is really, really cool. It's similar to what you've seen from GPT Image 1, where you can generate an image. As you can see here, this one has a snowflake over the woman's face. But then you can edit the image using just text prompts. So remove the thing from her face, and you can see it does a really nice job here. Take a selfie. So you get character consistency. You can change backgrounds. You can change lighting. All these different things. So, of course, I spent the last 24 hours building tools to make use of this. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Let's jump right in. All right, now we're here in Pixel Dojo. I'm going to show you at least three different tools that I've built in the last 24 hours that make use of these models. Now, the first one is consistent characters. This was something that was incredibly difficult to do before, and it only really worked for human people, human models, as I should say. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of our existing images, and we'll look through my gallery, and we'll just grab one that seems cool. Uh, for example, we'll grab this image right here. Why not? Now, what you do is you upload an image. Now, you can either upload one that you've created here on Pixel Dojo, or you can upload your own from your computer. It can be a photo of a person. It doesn't really matter. Now, you can select the background style here, white, gray, black, green screen, neutral, and the number of poses. So we'll go ahead and say eight, and you can randomize the poses and just create a portrait series. So just click the Generate Portrait Series button, and within just a few seconds here, you're going to see something that's pretty mind blowing. And just like that, we've got all these different consistent photos of the same character. And again, this is mind blowing. This is something that was so hard to do before. Now you can just go through here, save the ones that you like, and you could use this to train a Laura model, or you could use this to do just about anything else you want. But it's a really cool, super quick way to get a bunch of different images. And let me show you, it works with non-human characters as well. We'll go ahead and grab this image of our donkey friend over here, and we'll leave the same settings in place. Click on Generate, and we should get consistent images of our donkey friend. And just like that, we've got it. Now, you can see it's really cool here because you get laying down, standing up, different angles, different sides. Oh my God, what is this over here? All right, so sometimes it's a little weird, but for the most part, this is really good. This is something that was so incredibly difficult to do, and they've somehow made it pretty simple. So that's one example. Now, what this enables, like I said, is the ability to take a single image of a character. Let's say you've created something using Google Image N4 or one of the other Flux models, and you create an image of a character that you really love that you want to train a LoRa model on. Well, just so happens I've made that super easy to do. So you can drop down over here to the Flux Model Trainer. Go ahead and click on that. I should note we've also got this brand new Fast Trainer, which trains an entire high-quality LoRa model in two minutes or less. That's right, two minutes or less. It used to take almost an hour. It's crazy, but I'm using eight NVIDIA H100 GPUs. It's crazy powerful. So, but for this, we're gonna do this single image Flux Laura Trainer. We're gonna click on this, and we'll upload our base photo. So in this case, let's say this photo of this woman, and you can see she's holding a capybara, she's wearing this white shirt, and we'll go ahead and just click Generate Portrait Variations. And what it's going to do is it's going to take that single image and it's going to run it through my custom context model. And it's going to create 11 other variations. So you're going to have a total of 12 images, which is exactly what you need to train a LoRa model. And here you go. They're all here. You've got different angles, different sides, but you've got that consistency of the character, which is exactly what you're looking for. So. You can go continue to training with 12 images. It's created the zip file, uploaded it, and now you're off to the races. You can just click start training and you're good to go. Awesome. That's two of the three things that I built for this. Now, the third one is actually a completely new way to use Flux, and I'm calling it Flux Studio. 
All right, so to get started, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a prompt that says two anime characters studying physics. We're going to go into the settings and we'll say, okay, we'll use Flux 1.1 Pro. We'll leave everything else as default. Click on create. Within a couple seconds, we'll have our first image here. And let's see what comes back. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Now, when you pull this up, you can see a whole bunch of options under here. You can edit the image, save it. You can change the color correction levels of it. This was mostly for GPT image one, but I find it useful sometimes. You can save the image. You can upscale it, download it, or recall the prompt. So you could add the prompt back to the box here. You can even click on it, make it full screen so you can check it out. But in this case, what's really interesting is the edit button. And you can see edit mode is active. And now we can say, this is really cool actually. You can say, make the characters photorealistic. Click on edit. And in just a few seconds, you're gonna see something pretty magical. How mind blowing is that? So you've got the original scene and now the characters and everything in it are photorealistic. That's the power of this model. And you could say, you can come in here and you can click edit on this one. And you could say, change the white shirts to blue. And now it's changed the clothing that they were wearing. You can see it's still consistent with the original, but now it is blue instead of white. Holy cow, you can change their hair color. You can change anything you want. You could even say, let's make this, let's turn this into an outdoor scene. And now you have your two characters, but they're in the mountains instead of inside of this lab. How crazy is that? So this not only replaces tools like imagery lighting, image to image, um, flux redux, oh man, in painting, in painting with Laura support, like it's, 10 tools built into one easily. And now you can just iteratively go through and make changes to your images, get exactly what you want. You can remove text from images, you can add text to images, sky is the limit. This is really cool. I'm gonna end up doing multiple tutorials about this because there are so many varied use cases for this, but I just wanted to get this out there and show you all what's possible with this new context model that just dropped. Let me know what you think in the comments below and hit me up if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll check you next time. Thanks.